Hello there, Sagittarius, and welcome back for another tarot reading. Today's tarot reading is pertaining to your person. Uh, what is your person thinking about you, uh, Sagittarius, here? So we're pulling your person's energy yet again. Uh, so this is a general, so it may or may not resonate with you. So just take the part that fits, discard the rest, because it only means that this is not the reading for you at this time, Sagittarius. Now we're using the Romance Angel Oracle deck here. And I have you a nine card spread here using my Miss Cleo deck. And I've clarified the ones that I feel like I needed a little bit more information uh, pertaining to your person's, uh, how they're thinking about you here. So the first card here we have uh, pertaining to how, what is your person thinking about you, Sagittarius? It says, keep an open mind. Your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations here. So obviously your person didn't know who the hell they had with Sagittarius. I'm just saying, okay? So obviously this person did not know the strong spiritual connection that you guys have. Uh, they may have been cramming you, treating you like you were some stepchild or perhaps a broke EBT card. Uh, but they was not giving you your just proper Sagittarius here. So it's like they're having a aha moment here because I feel like you guys are not together here. And so underneath this keep an open mind card here, we have trust. This situation is calling for you to have faith here. So your person really had to go outside or really had to go in introspect here, pertaining to, to this connection, because I feel like your person has really been feeling a push and pull. This person can't get over your energy. This person has not gotten over you. There is a very strong familiar energy uh, pertaining to you for your person here. So your person probably didn't trust this, this spiritual connection because, you know, most masculines does not identify emotions or spirituality, but it's like, since you guys are not together, now this person is reminiscing, um, thinking about the connection, this strong spiritual connection and how connected and how close they do feel to you. Because underneath the bottom here, we have past life relationship. You have known each other before. You've known each other before in a past life. You guys probably were in the same relationship. Now, either it worked out before. Well, obviously, it did not work out before because you're coming back to do it again here. Because that's what past life means. It does not mean in this life. It means in another lifetime. You were with this person before and it did not work out. That's why you're having to repeat it, I feel. Okay? So, this person is realizing that there is a strong spiritual connection and that this, you were way much more to this person than this person gave you credit for, uh, Sagittarius here. So over here in your tarot cards, we have the nine of pentacles here. Now, I thought this was your person, but I feel like this is your energy here. You're doing very good. You're independent. You're single uh, because this person didn't unsingle you. So, you you know, you, you went on and you're doing good by yourself. You know, you may have had to work hard, but... You, uh, you, you're, you're, uh, doing very good. You're very successful. You're beautiful. You're abundant. You're very secure. You're financially stable and you're ready. Only thing you need now is a good man or a good woman in your life. You just need a good one without the BS. You hear me? So when we clarify this nine of coins here, we get this eight of wands energy here. So this person is thinking about you and now they're realizing how significant you are to them or how significant you were to them. So now this person wants to come towards you. Now this person either wants to communicate with you, but I feel like this person wants to travel with you because like I said, depending on what cars you use, it may tell slightly a different thing, but it's still fast moving energy. And this picture represents someone driving something. So I feel like this person wants to come visit you. This person, this person see you on your game. This person see that you're doing it. You ain't missed the beat since they didn't act right. Uh, but this person is, is, is missing that, that familiar energy that you guys had together here. So underneath your, um, what was this card? Underneath your nine of pentacles, we have the three of cups here. Scorpio, Cancer, and Pisces energy here. This person wants to celebrate with you. This person wants to have a good time with you. This person wants to bring in laughter. Uh, your person wants to renew this connection. They hope that if you guys can go out and hang out, have a drink, maybe you'll be more receptive to this person and maybe you guys can renew this, this relationship again. And so when I clarify this three of cups, we get the seven of pentacles here because this person feels like, look, I know I had you waiting, 
but we've invested too much into this relationship for us to let it go here. So this person wants to renew this because this person feel like there's been some time put in here. Uh, you guys have a past life connection. You guys have a, a history here. So this is why this person wants to come back and renew this here. And so underneath your three of cups, we have this ace of coins here. Now, this is the universe's way of giving you guys a new opportunity and something amazing and abundant if you so choose. Now, you got to choose it, but it's up to you, but it's here. This new beginning is available for you, but it's up to you whether or not you choose it here. This is what the universe is like. Look, y'all done repeated this thing over and over and over again. Now, here we come again. Now, either you're going to choose the, choose this, this new beginning or you're going to come back in the next lifetime and do it over here. So now we have the six of coins here. And it's usually the same scenario I feel in each lifetime. You're going to do the same mess. You just got to get it right. Uh, because these soulmate uh, past life relationships are contracts that we have to feel. And uh, it's, it's hard because you have free will. So, you know, you may not, you both may be going in two different directions here. Uh, so that's why you may have to come back and do it over. But the six of coins here, which is earth energy towards Virgo and Capricorn here. So there may have been some disagreements pertaining to how this person was given to you. You may have felt like this person was shortchanging you. This person probably wasn't uh, putting in the time. This person may have not been really trying to invest and plant roots into this relationship because they were sleeping on you. They didn't know who the hell you was to them Sagittarius. They didn't know. You know, they just didn't know here. And so I feel like if you thought this person was given out to somewhere else, I feel like there was a lot of confusion as a result of this because I was Sag Sagittarius one was an equal give and take relationship here. She wanted honesty here. So someone moved towards Karma Waters here to a better place here. In the Six of Swords energy, and this probably was you, uh, Sagittarius. Uh, I'm not saying this person didn't cause no no harm because obviously this person had you in your head, but you probably physically moved. But I feel like you had to heal from this me mental mentalness here. You want to you want to be calm, and then it could be this play this person because if you guys used to fuss and fight and argue about what this person was doing, or perhaps this person was giving out to somewhere else, then this person may want to come in and move the relationship to a calmer place here, a calmer, peaceful place in this Six of Swords energy. But I feel like your person is, is not as optimistic here because we have the Five of Swords here. Now, we know that this is mind games, manipulation, uh, one and up, uh, winning at all costs here. But it also represents someone maybe feeling defeated here. So this person may be feeling defeated here because it's like they waited till you left them before they realized who the heck you was to them. So when we clarify the five of swords, we get this four of cups here. Now, this person may feel like if they try to extend this cup to you, that you're going to reject this cup here. Uh, they may feel like they've just missed an opportunity that you don't want them anymore, okay? And you, you may be saying, I don't want them. Now, up here we have the moon. Now, this person, this person could have been uh, very uh, sneaky. This person could have withheld information. This person could have had secrets. Or this person just dreaming about you. This person is moody here. Uh, this person may be having lucid dreams as well because when I clarify the moon card, we get this Knight of Wands. So you may be visiting your energy, may be astral projected in this person's dream. It could be. Or this person could be doing this to you. This person could be astral projecting in your dreams here because this, this represents moodiness, uh, lucid dreams here. But we clarify the Knight of Wands. So this person in your dream, so <laughs> heads up Sagittarius, if you wake up wet, then that's why it's because your ex is coming into your dreams and, and having their way with you, okay? I'm just saying it, it, it can and do be, it happens, okay? So underneath your moon card, we have this Knight of Coins here. So like I say, you know, if this person, if you feel like this person was not invested into your relationship because they was busy giving out somewhere else, now this person wants to come in and, and bring in something reliable. This person wants to come in and plant roots now. This person wants to give because I feel like this person put you on hold because they counted you out like you was irrelevant when all along you was this person's soulmate. You was this person's past life relationship under contract that you had to get right. But this person was into their own energy here. 
So I feel like they're trying to get out of their selfishness and come on in and, and do the right thing here. And I feel like also they may be trying to come in and give you something because I feel like they're trying to change your, your, your opinion about them in this magician card. They're trying to make something happen here. And I feel like they feel like if I come and give Sagittarius something here, you know, maybe, you know, it's kind of like a, a, a token, come, like I, I keep hearing a promise ring. Come give you a promise ring to show you that they're serious here because they're trying to manifest you back. But I feel like they're going to have they feel like they're going to have to do something. Their words is not good enough here. And so this last card here that I did not clarify is the king of cups here. So this is your person uh, having a lot of love and emotions for you, Sagittarius. But they may have not showed it in the past because, like I said, they didn't know who you were to them. Uh, but but now they're ready to come in and love you unconditionally. I feel like in this King of Cups, underneath the bottom of this deck, we have the Justice card and we have the Queen of Cups. So see, there is a equal. there was equal love between the two of you here. And I feel like this person wants to come in with this Justice card and uh, bring in reciprocity. This person wants to give, this person wants to give back and forth to you. So if they were giving out to somewhere else, they're taking it back to give to this relationship. But I feel like Sagittarius don't want to hedge. Sagittarius really don't care at this point. It's like a day late and a dollar short. Because after this Queen of Cups, we have death. <laughs> That's Scorpio and Aries. So this is why this person is feeling defeated. Because they feel like, damn, I know I Sagittarius ain't going to take this cup. She is not taking this cup. Underneath this clarifier, we have the Four of Pentacles. Your person is holding on to something in the moon card. So either this person is secretly uh, uh, holding on to you and not releasing your energy, or this person is holding on and keeping close to their chest something secretly that they're doing that they don't want you to know about. But at any rate, underneath this moon card, we have the world card. So there's going to be a completion and an ending anyway. But underneath this world card, you have the two of cups. So this was your soulmate here, but your person didn't even know you guys were soulmate because they treated you like you like you was lesser than. So now this person is 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 left to deal with it, Sagittarius. But this is how your person feels about you. This is what your person is thinking about you, Sagittarius. So if this video resonates, please like, share, subscribe, hit that notification bell, and leave me a comment. And I'll talk to you on the next video. Bye, Sagittarius.